Okay, folks, still at the bar studio, but right here, you see the triangulation we're getting of the dark. And there's one over here, too. Basically, right there. And then here. And this one's very prominent right here. And there's a triangulation. Now, if you watch, this tri this one here is getting dark, bigger. But I believe it's the same big two ones we've seen on the other side of the mountain. The two dark blotches. So I'm going to go change cameras, and I'm also going to show you the light that doesn't come up here. People have said in the past, oh, there's a train or railroad or not, and there was a truck that was coming down here a minute ago when I was recording. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and go to a different camera. Other portion of the mountain, but check this triangulation out right there, there, and there. And watch from the beginning of the video and how much the sun comes in and out. Because all this smoke and steam and ash is from the volcano. It hasn't blown again yet, but it wants to. She's getting hot again. She's building up. And as you see there, the light, even as I'm moving around over here, the light's changing. And you're getting a lot more prominent look right there of this. Either that or it's just that they're starting to pulse these black, dark remnant shadows or stars or light. And that's why the scientists keep on talking about black light so much lately because they keep on getting people to take pictures of this and saying, look, this black light. Because how can a shadow come through the goddamn ash in the cloud? It can't. A light will. Black light. Black radioactive light. Or electrical static of some sort. There. There. And here. Very easy to see. Very easy to see this one. And at times, even like right now, very easy to see that one there. And it's pulsing. I almost don't want to peel away from the shot because it can change at any minute. But they're getting pretty prominent. You can't miss but seeing those three. That, that, and that. Triangulation of black light through ash and cloud. So let me go to another camera and we'll come back to this one. Now I went back to the recording I had, okay? This is the recording of this. Two black blotches before on the other side, okay? This was previous, okay? Okay, it's Beano, folks. I came back to this shot because I popped the wrong camera, and I believe this is, oh, I think it's seven. So anyway, but I really screwed up, and I just missed the two little black flopping around little things. Yeah, he's around. So I'm seeing... If it's here again. So I'm going to keep this up for a little bit and watch, and then I'll try to hit record. I think we're at camera eight or nine. I'll tell you when I go back to another camera which one this one was. You'll be able to figure it out. i got to start writing these down. I've been drinking. So anyway, uh, you can't. it's too close to the mountain on here, but you can see that she's getting a lot heated up tonight. Well, it's morning there. AM there, the sun's just getting there. We're getting dark here on the west coast. Alright, I'll switch to another camera. Hang on. So, this is camera eight. So we have too much uh, we have too much fog overcast in cloud and you can't see nothing from this camera angle. So this is camera eight. There's camera seven. You got a truck leaving there, as you can see that. This is camera seven. We're back, and you can see the one dark spot right over here. It's still there, and this one has got more predominant. It's got darker, bigger. So the video before this one, because we're monitoring, because it sure looks like she's wanting to blow again. That's part, that black light. It's getting a lot bigger, and as you can see, this one here is pulsing. And this is camera seven. I believe the last one was eight. So this has gotten a lot bigger. 
I mean, it's way out in space, but that there has gotten a lot bigger there, that blotch there. And this one is pulsing big time. And this one back here is getting hidden behind the ash and the smoke and the cloud. So I'll go to another camera. Oh, this is camera five, and there goes that truck. It just, it just left. So there goes that truck. So that's basically the camera five is down farther down this road. And as you see, they've got lava deflectors so that if the lava ever comes out, they deflect the lava and have it go where they want the lava to go. I don't know how good it'll work, but... So, we'll check another camera shot out. So, I'm still here. There's another truck backing up. Exciting little action. But anyway, this camera eventually one day will catch lava flow if the volcano ever blows big enough to do that. Either that or it's water from a, of a mountain or a river that they worry about. And it's actually a canal because there's another road over there. You see a truck going there. So anyway, let's look for another camera on the mountain. Uh, I think this is camera six. So basically it's a canal, a dry riverbed or something. And they've got this made to protect their roads around there. It must thaw in the springtime. It must get a lot of snow around there in the wintertime in this area. So we'll check another camera out. Camera three is another canal, and I'm not sure if it's for volcano lava they figure or, or water I'm pretty sure it's for water so they got a very well canaled area I think this is camera two but we do get a lot of light action here folks we're getting the black hang on a minute so what's interesting at this one folks you are going to see the light right here this light is getting hologram down from space all this area right here you will see this change right here it's the light that's getting propagated from out in outer space now what this is is an old dam or a gate that they've got and you can see this stuff was built years ago and they do a magnificent job with what they have for materials either that or this was I don't know can't be that old or if it is, it's great work that they did ages ago. But check the light above. This is that light propagation that gets knocked down here to this mountain. You're seeing it right here in the higher area. This is changing. You see how it gets fuzzy? It's not the video camera's fault because if you look over here where the light doesn't really change, it's not doing anything. You see how that's doing that up there? So it's getting that light propagation in the black light from outer space up here. And not at this lower area here as you see that it because the camera's not refocusing it all the time if it is refocusing is it's refocusing because of the light propagation that's up this way as you see see how that's changing there but down here it doesn't change at all because that light propagation ain't hitting right here it is starting to hit and, and da dance around on the wall of this dam a little bit right here Isn't that wild? And the video camera is picking it up. Live feed. It's 10.40 a.m. in the morning. 10.40 and 23, 24, 25 seconds and counting. A.m. Hawaiian time. I mean, Japan time. Sorry, folks. So, they're getting interesting light propagation around there. and You can see certain planets between... This light propagation and so forth, they're dancing around right there. You can see this one here. There's a bunch of little planets or dead stars or something. Possible small moons, objects in space. And see how they're popping around on the screen up in here where I'm pointing with the arrow? Watch this stuff dance around in here. And at light, the supergiant's light or whatever stars there are out there in space. And all in the future, be studying this and getting to worldwide telescope and stuff like that. But like I'm saying, I'm just 
And you can see the stars also dancing around on the uh, the wall down here. And it seems to be moving towards us here. So this is an interesting camera to go back to. This is two. As just a short time I've been here, the light propagation is bouncing and coming in on the wall, and it'll probably move down to this area in a little while. And more dancing. The light propagation. You see these planets or objects getting x-ray down onto uh, the rocky climate up there. It's pretty wild. So that's camera two, I think. So we'll come back. And I apologize. This wasn't camera two. This is camera one. Okay, this is camera three. And I think I'm fe finding what our black dots were. There's some black crows that are flying around the area. Not the black light propagation, but the black spots that we were seeing there's some black crows that are on this and there goes one of the black crows okay so every once in a while when we see the black it's possibly these big black birds that are flying around the area they're pretty large for being crows too and as you can see there they are there okay that's one of the crows but <clears throat> if you watch yeah I guess they're flying around the area so we found the uh, small black objects that are flying around the area happens to be crows some big ass flipping crows they got big ass crows or eagles or something flying around the area there goes one there in the clouds in the ash there's a bunch of them here but it doesn't explain the black light that we were seeing propagation before so there is black crows or black eagles or something, some kind of ostrich or some damn thing. Flamingos or something. They're big. Pelicans maybe. So anyway, the explanation of the black spots that we were seeing flying through the sky that were kind of crazy. Okay, but the black blotches and the light, the 3D hologram, there's a black crow there. Okay. So the 3D hologram that we see is not the birds, okay? And you do see some light propagation going on up here above the top portion of the rocky area. You see that up there? And it picks up all the movement or just about anything really good as you see the birds flying around. And you see the, tr the branches. The camera picks up a damn good shot. And it shows this light propagation coming along the ridge here. This is camera three. We're monitoring the volcano in Japan that keeps on emitting all the time. There's also some light propagation coming down on top of the, looks like to be some mud or water, dark gray area here. You can see some of the light propagation flopping in there. So there's a shitload of light propagation off of some fast moving objects. And now it's getting really wild up there on the rocks up there. Looks like a disco going on up there. Check out all the whiteness and all the light flashing around on the upper of the area. You can't miss it up here. Looks like a discotheque up here. Check out all the light flopping. And it's not me for moving my cursor either. If you watch there, it'll be flopping all the way along that ridge, right on the top ridge right up here. Look at all that light propagation flopping there. More light from space. That's camera three. Okay, this is camera nine. So basically, I think our magical camera, our good camera angle is camera eight. Let's go look at camera eight. Now we're at one of my videos. This is the one before this one, okay? This is one that showed you the black light, okay? This is how you go to the cameras. Go to the ferry underneath here in the show more area. I already, I already clicked show more. And this is how it ends up looking on my camera deal. 
And there's the cameras here. And I'm going to hit refresh and it'll click them to 